Hey folks, Alex edits again, and this time I have a groundbreaking subject of the season, artificial intelligence, which is being used by millions of creators around the world in their day-to-day -day project. Today we are going to use this AI to do something very useful. So if you are a passionate creator trying to figure out how you can dive into the YouTube system, or if you have one but you still want to see how you can grow the second one, well, in this video I will take you through a step-by-step -step guide to have all this done in the correct way. Starting by choosing from the best YouTube niches for AI-generated videos, creating a channel, profile, banners, audio editing using Audacity, and all the way to the final output. So without any further delay, let us start. Step 1. Choosing the niche. So for our very first step, we're going to check the examples of YouTube niches to which AI-generated videos perform the best. So for that, I will use ChartGPT to do that research for us. So here is the reason why we don't just pick any niche. Of course, other niches are more lucrative than others, and other niches just don't get more views. However, when choosing a niche, you must consider your abilities and the tools you're going to use in projects. So if we are using AI, we too must search for the field in which we can perform the best. So I listed here five types of videos that AI tools can create the best. So here was the result. Deep fake videos, animated explainers, video editing, sport highlights, and advertisements. So I repeated the same question, and this time I wanted 10 examples. So I got 10 more, and for the example of this video, let's look at historical theories and facts. Now before we get the channel name, let's see if we can get inspiration for our first video on the channel. So according to our niche, we can search for something like 10 greatest theories in history. This historical theory was proven to be true 100 years later. 5 historical theories that could not apply in reality now. From these video titles, what name would you give the channel? Well, I don't know the name that your inspiration would formulate, but for me and for this example, little known theory. Step 2. Channel Picture, Banner, and Subscribe Button Now that you have created your channel, let's go on and create our YouTube picture and banner for the customization tab of our channel. So for this, we are going to use this website for everything we need in this step. I will also leave the link in the description of this video. So you click on the login to get started, and if you have never used the website before, you can create a new account with just your email address. So here, you can choose what you want to create from these examples. For us first, we are creating a banner. But if you can't find the template of what you want to create, then just enter the size values in these spaces. Here are templates for YouTube banners. But I suggest starting from scratch. So here, you will be able to see all the parameters. So this space is viewable on any device your audience may be using. But if you extend your banner to here, then only PC device users can view these portions. And also these ones for TV viewers. So I will advise you to put it all in this space. So now go on to the backgrounds. So if you have one on your computer, you can click on the uploads and then upload. So let's search for history. Here, I will choose this one with some books. On the effects, I will increase the overlay of a blue color. More darkness and saturation. Jump to the shapes and add some graphical shapes.
And on the text, click the heading and write the name of the channel. Then, for the graphics, I will upload some of my files. So while you are still under the customization tab, you notice this, which is the watermark subscribe link. On this channel, I added a subscribe button, so I will show you how to create it in a few seconds. So just click the resize option, and here put 150 by 150, and open a new one. So here, you just add a red background. Add a subscribe text. Make it white. Then go to the graphics and search for YouTube. Resize it. And that's perfect. So I used the same format to create the profile picture, and here is the result. Now let's upload and publish our stuff. Step 3. The whole video creation. Okay. For this example, let's dive right into our first video inspiration. The greatest theories. So let's see if AI can write a script for that. So to avoid switching tabs, we are going to use the same open AI on another website where we will get other tools we need for our video, because it's actually a video editor, and the link is in the description below. So this is how the interface of our video editing software looks. So the pricing of this video editor is very affordable, considering all the tools and resources they offer you. So keep your mind free and let us go ahead and make our first video, and then after that, we will check out the pricing. At the same time, I'm giving away a lifetime license of this online video editor. I will select the winner randomly from my viewers, and more information is in this video. So let's have a few minutes for a quick rundown on how to use this online video editor. So definitely the first thing is that you need to import your files, so you click here on media, then local files. Now you can drag your imported files and drop them into the timeline. Let me show you these tabs on the left side. Here you can add texts, depending on what you're creating. There are different titles, which are just drag and drops. Customizing the one you want with amazing visual animations. The next is subtitles where you can add captions to your video according to your audio in the timeline. Now, on these three following tabs, you are going to appreciate this software forever. Here are the high-quality stock videos from Storyblocks, that you can search and add to use in your project without exit the software. Here are the images, just like the one you are seeing on the preview screen. Then you have audio. Here you can choose from various types of music and sound effects. 
you can filter your search by mood, and also by genre. On elements you have something like shapes, subscribe, etc. And here you have overlays, they just act as some added effects, and they are different types. Here are the backgrounds. You can get them as images, as videos, as effects, etc. We will get to the tools tab as we will be editing our video, but for now, let's go back the template tab, on the top. Your video may not be exactly as the template, but at least you can get the idea of what you can create. Besides, this is a real-time saver. Once you get the template you like, the whole project will be effortlessly done. Let me give you a simple example of this slideshow template. Click the template and here you can choose if you want to apply all the formats on you want to select one, so I will select this one for this example. Double click. Go to media and bring your files in replacement. Some of the things you can easily understand as you continue using the software, but there are other major basics I must show you like transitions, cropping masks, and these upper functions right here. So let's get to them. When you want to add a transition between clips, just click that small white square in the middle of the clips. The transition page will show up and you will choose from a lot of them. Actually, Flex Clip has some smooth advanced transitions you might not have expected, like this. Let's quickly review these functions here. Starting with the background removal, it's one of the essentials in general video editing, most importantly in editing thumbnails, yet many video software does not have it. In this version of FlexClip, it only works on images not on videos, which we are expecting soon. Now let's test it. There you go. After it's done, you can click here to download or if you want you can use this option to regain the removed background. The animation works for both images and videos. So you can choose your video to zoom in, zoom out, up or down, or sideways. The adjust is where you can control the color of your footage using the controls, exposure, temperature, brightness and the rest. And filter or when you just want to use the already made color preset, which can actually save your time if it fits your projects. The transform is simple again. You can rotate left or right. Flip to both sides. And here you can zoom in and out your preview window. Now the cropping masks are going to achieve something like this. You will explore for yourself but this is how to access them. Add a background image to create a new scene. The double click to access the single scene timeline. Now you drag the round circle color right straight to the preview screen. You will see the cropping option showing up, then you can sell it to see more mask shapes. So you do the same for the image with the subject that you want to circle. Make your subject circle smaller than the color behind. You can check out other features on your own. Like how to edit your text. And how to use AI tools. Now that you know the basics of this editor, let's continue with the creation of our first video on our channel. Now let's go to the tools tab and use AI tools for our video creation. So firstly let us use the iVideo scripting to get our first step done. So I typed here, top 5 greatest theories in history.
so this is what I got. But now remember that this AI is not going to make your script as good as you intend human beings to feel your story, so you click right here to edit your script. Now it's time to choose a voiceover, so we are going to copy our script. Go on the media, and then use AI text to speech. Just this AI icon here. And you can change the language. And not only that, but you can also choose from the list of these AI voices. So I found this Davis to be very human, so I will select him. So keep watching because we are going to edit our voiceover in Audacity to make it sound much better. For that open audacity, if you don't have it, I will leave a link in the description below. So every text to speech audio we have created in FlexClip was automatically downloaded to our computer files. So when you click import audio, just go straight to the downloads folder. So make sure you select the audio and the go effects volume and compression, and then compressor, now apply the default compressing values. Do the same, but this time choose limiter and hit apply. Now the next step is to go to EQ and filters, the graphic EQ, settings, and presets, and on factory presets, go to treble boost, and then apply. Next. Go again to EQ and choose Filter Curve EQ, and on the presets again choose the treble boost. But this time reduce the curve like this, to just above 3 dB. Now, for the third time in the Filter Curve EQ, choose Bass Boost, and reduce it to exact 3 dB. For the last time, Select low roll-off for speech and apply with default values. Finally, go back to volume and compression, and then normalize with the default value. Then export your audio. Now you have better audio with a normal, crisp effect. Now it's time to drag our audios into the timeline, so you must add scenes first before you drag audios because FlexClip cannot add audio when there is no scene created. So I will add over 20 scenes so that my 2 minutes audio will fit. Now the visual part of this type of video is easy when you're using FlexClip. Just look from your script, find something relevant, something which is being said by your script, then search it on videos or on images. Let me give you an example, like in this our first scene, so I have this image right here which I searched on the images, but still when you search and can't find anything relevant, there an alternative way that I'll show you in a minute. So let's say I want more scenes on this theory number one. I just copy this and paste it on the search. Then add some keywords like Albert Einstein. And you can see I have more options to add. Now let's take an example of this theory number 5. So let's search for this guy called James Clerk Maxwell. So as you can see we do not get any relevant searches, on videos as well as on images. So here is the option. Go to Images, and on top you have the option of AI Text to Image. So let's generate. So for you to make this appear better, you must search on Google to find out which of the AI generated images is close to the truth, or close to original image. So since many images of the historian are in black and white, you can add a filter also. 
add some adjustments. So this will bring you close to what the original image could be, and actually makes your video hold some reality. So this is how you find your visuals when you are using the combination of AI and FlexClip to create historical videos on YouTube. Now let's see how you can add some graphic text, then after that we add subtitles, we will have a preview of our great video, in a few simple steps. Now, for a good appealing text graphics I will add background. There are many of them here, you can choose the one that matches your project. So now you can create this, using the method I showed you earlier in this video. Now I will go to text and choose from quotes text category. Now I'm going to copy my text from the script. And then double click the text to open text properties. So let me paste right here. And make some easy adjustments. And right here I have to ungroup this whole text thing. And you will see everything is showing up individually in the timeline. Now I want to show text two times in the same scene, so I copy another part of the same scene. So I will split the text right here, and paste this to cover the next part of the same scene. Now let me play for you the whole scene. Now you know how to use the video script to create scenes, how to get the relevant footage for your video, how to create voiceover of text to speech, how to use script to generate displaying graphics text, and you also know how to make character mask cropping. Now let's see the subtitles. Here on subtitles, go to auto generate, and here make all scenes and audio. Here select the style, then generate. So I just go to subtitles just to show you how to use them but on this type of a video, they may not be necessary on some scenes. So now let me use the same method that I have shown you to create the remaining scenes, then I will show you the actual preview of the whole video. Just as I have said, I have used the same method that I have shown you, and now let me just add a subscribe button to end the video. So I will just go to elements and then choose the correct one. After that I will add a background music. and your video is done. In this video are five of the greatest theories in the history of science that have had a transformative impact on our understanding of the world. Theory of Electromagnetism by James Clerk Maxwell. James Clerk Maxwell's equations, formulated in the 19th century, unified electricity and magnetism into a single theory of electromagnetism. These equations predicted the existence of electromagnetic waves, including light, and paved the way for the development of modern communication technologies, including radio, television, and wireless communication. The Theory of Elements by Empedocles in ancient Greece, Empedocles proposed that everything in the universe is made up of four elements earth, water, air, and fire each possessing its own unique properties. Quantum Mechanics Quantum mechanics, developed by a range of physicists including Max Planck, Niels Bohr, and Werner Heisenberg, describes the behavior of matter and energy on the smallest scales. It introduced concepts
While my video is exporting I'm going to show you the pricing of this online editor. And before the end, I will give you the procedure for how to go about my giveaway. On this plan you need $20, and the same license will cover the music, sound effects, and stock videos from Storyblocks. And all the benefits you can find in the software, then export your projects in 1080 Full HD. If you want to make it a one-time annual payment, it will be $14. Now that we are just one step away from publishing our video, only one thing is left, the thumbnail. So we go back to Snappa, where we created our banners. Here you can choose the option for thumbnails. So here, your thumbnail must be in line with your title, and your title must represent what's in your video. Now, from the images I uploaded, I will add this image. Now add text. Here is our thumbnail. And now we continue to put together all the details needed for this video. Now, you can publish your video. Now that you have your first video, repeat the same process we went through and create more videos. Make sure you improve each video to be better than the previous. So if you have some questions, be sure to write them in the comments below. So for the giveaway, you must have watched at least 20 minutes of this video, and then like the video and leave a comment. And I will pick one to offer a FlexClip basic lifetime license. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and stay tuned.